All right, welcome back to the same day that we pulled the doghouse out. Uh, I got some stuff about going in the shop and Bob, our bug out bus. Um, because we've been in Portland for a couple years and things have just gotten escalated each and every year we've been here. You know, if we thought of this little mini backpack, which is super cute. Look at that. Look, I got a wrench that's, that's bigger than a, the emergency backpack. But I'm looking at two persons for a couple days in a little mini backpack. And with my one ton bus, I can carry a bit more than that, but I can also carry stuff in a different spot. So I'm gonna go dismantle something out of the back of Bob and he's gonna drop some weight out of his ass end, folks. Let's go see what I can find. We're going under, folks. When was the last time you crawled underneath your vehicle to see what's below? So with the big old Bob name bus, I've got extra storage. That's where you could put a spare tire or another fuel tank, but I don't have those. Instead, I have a big gigantic Pelican box for a family of food for two weeks. Let's check it out. Ooh. It's a little bit tight under here right now. Usually I've got this thing up on blocks when I do this kind of stuff. So, this is the underside of the bus. The frame rails come all the way down here, which gives me a whole bunch of vertical height of essentially wasted space, but I've got, got stuff that I want to carry. So in here is my recommended for FEMA. This is my two week food supply for a family of five. And it is MREs, it is camping food, it is some canned food, there's basic first aid, a couple of lights, the most basics of survival, but it's mostly all bulk food. This thing weighs about 50-ish pounds. It's through bolted, where's my hand? It's through bolted into the frame. And we've got a little bit of a redesign that we're gonna do for it, um, but it's super great. And uh, I think this was, $15 at a used store here in Portland and the last big pelican box I got was actually free on the sidewalk no joke that's Portland for me yep the uglies but dismantle this thing get it out of the way while it's in the shop and we'll repack this thing while it's uh while it's while we can Unfortunately, it's got wheels on it, and now it's got some stuff that's squished on the bottom. Whew. Let's go check out what's inside. All right, so popping all these guys up. These are these are the latches. This thing is shin tall. Much bigger than my foot and about as about as long as my leg it is a 1650 pelican this is much 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 older one and when we pop that lid we're gonna find all this buried treasure look at that this is just calories simply just calories this is me after years and years and years of working in an outdoor gear shop just buying food all of the time and storing it we live in the great northwest so we are earthquake oriented there's wildfires and this is what i carry in the belly of the beast a couple bolts i can get it out it's gone i hope nobody wants to steal it from me um we're gonna secure it differently next time but this is what I could grab and go. There's lighters, there's flares, 
There's solar powered Lucy lights, there's medicines, compasses, knives, there's the basics to get us out the door and gone. There's nothing soft in here. It is all caloric. So there's no clothing. There might be a couple of space blankets, but that's about it. We'd be cold and wet, but we'd be full.